Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this episode, episode 25, I'm going to talk about the four lobes of the cerebrum and their functions. Inside this video, first I am going to answer the question, what is the cerebrum? And then lastly, I'm going to talk about the four lobes, and we're going to look at what they do. So first, let's look at the question, what is the cerebrum? The cerebrum is the largest part of the human brain, and it's involved in intellectual functions such as memory, attention, awareness, thought, language, and consciousness. So the, the, these are the things that essentially make human beings human beings. So let's take a look at the four lobes of the cerebrum. We have the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the occipital lobe, and the temporal lobe. Once again, that's the frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, and temporal lobe. And let's look at what they are involved in. The frontal lobe is involved in processes such as reasoning, planning, speech, movement, emotions, and problem solving. So these are the types of things that are happening in the frontal lobe. Then we have the parietal lobe, which is involved in movement, orientation, recognition, and perception. The occipital lobe, which is involved in visual processing. And this is why sometimes if you get hit to the back of the head, you see stars and so on. Um, that has to do with visual processing. And then we have the temporal lobe, which deals with auditory perception, memory, and speech. So as you can see, there are a bunch of intellectual functions that are being controlled by the cerebrum of the brain, and we have a general idea now of what regions are involved in what types of processing. So in review, we've answered the question, what is the cerebrum? And then we looked at the four lobes and we spoke a little bit about their function. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them beneath this video, and I'd be happy to answer your questions and maybe even make a follow-up video to answer your specific question. You can always visit our website at interactive-biology.com if you want to get some more videos. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.